Well, they're starting to skate downtown, but I sensed a little melting on my rooftop today. It was just warm yes, enough. It was just warm it was enough. Too bad today. Yep. But it's going to get colder, isn't it, Jacob? I think cold is an understatement, especially as we go into the end of the seven day forecast. We'll show you those numbers in just a second. We got a lot of melting done, even though we didn't see a lot of sunshine. Temperatures did get into the mid to upper 40s to even 50 degrees. Look at Plymouth at 56. Not much melting because there wasn't much snow in that area, but certainly north and west of town, we did get some of that melting done, even as you go into the Worcester Hills. A uh, lot of uh, melting, but that also is going to lead to some slippery spots as we go into. To the overnight black ice certainly possible as temperatures dip below the freezing mark nearly across all of our viewing area. Partly cloudy skies. Uh, we will have some clearing skies as we go into tomorrow morning, but we're not going to see much of the temperature relief that uh, we would hope for. Temperatures only getting into the 30s to near 40 degrees, 38 for our high in Boston. So not only cold tomorrow, but we have this stretch of days as we go towards the uh, month of December that is just going to be below average the entire time. We're starting out with clear skies tomorrow morning. We do have some sunshine to start with. Then we start to build the clouds just a little bit. Then look what's knocking on our door. By the time we get into about the midnight hour, starting to see some snow, some sleet, and some rain for the Boston area. Mix on in. The good thing is we're not expecting much with these accumulations. We're talking about one to two inches. Boston staying all rain with this system before it finally lifts and moves on out of here right in time for the morning commute. We do have some cloudy skies in the forecast for Monday. We have another system that's going to move through Tuesday midday. Again, kind of some coatings to one to two inches at most for the entire time frame over the next 72 hours. Nothing like what we saw uh, last week. And then for your travel forecast, we have those two systems that are going to be moving through. Watch this front right here. This is going to be associated with an Arctic front that's going to drop in right in time for Thanksgiving Thursday, and it's going to set the stage for some very cold temperatures. Here's your Thanksgiving forecast. Highs in the low 20s, wind 30 to 40 miles per hour, so our feels like temperatures in the low teens and single digits. Silver lining, sunshine and dry. Nothing to worry about if we're, we're keeping score at home, if you will. Uh, so we do have some very cold temperatures as we go into the big travel day for Thursday. And then as people head home, still staying cold. This is almost January chill in the seven-day forecast.